Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for Makerspace at Your Place we are making paper plate dream catchers. So in your craft packet you will have a paper plate with a bunch of holes punched in it, some strings, and some feathers. So first you can decorate your plate however you want to and then we'll do our strings. So these teal string pieces will be used to hang it up at the top and also to attach the feathers at the bottom. So your two holes that are punched in the top will be used for one of your teal strings and you just put them through and then tie it so that you can hang your dream catcher up when it is done. And then the other strings and the feathers we'll use at the end. So our long string will be used for these holes that are around in a circle around this open space. So to start, we're just going to put it through one hole and leave a little tail and we'll just kind of hold that out of the way and we'll take the other end and go across. And we're just gonna crisscross all over until we filled up all of the holes and made a little design here. So it can be through any hole you want in any order. Just to make them cross back and forth over the open space in the center of your dream catcher. So we'll just do that until it's all the holes have been filled up. And then when you're all done, we'll put it back through the original hole. And then we'll tie our string off into a knot. And I'm gonna tie it so that they'll stay together on the back there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and tie it around the top teal string so that it doesn't just slip back out of that little hole. And then we can still hang it up, but it keeps it solid here. So for the last three strings, we're going to put them through the three holes at the bottom, and then we'll tie them together at the back so that they will stay in place. So I have my three strings through the bottom holes, and then I'm just going to tie them all together here on the back side. And then I can pull them back tight down here. And then our last step will be to attach the feathers. So then you just take your teal string at the bottom and we're going to make a double knot one feather per string and then once we have our feathers attached then we have our completed dream catcher and of course like I said you can decorate it however you want and if you want these to be shorter then you can just cut them shorter to be whatever length you would like them to be and there you go. That is our craft for Makerspace at your place this week. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next week. Bye.